Okay, this question is regarding hydrostatic pressure calculation. Now, the well already have, uh, have some mud weight, but uh, if we run to 5100 feet and if we displace the lighter fluid, then what will happen to bottom hole pressure or hydrostatic pressure at bottom? So, let us uh, understand the question first. This question says that well TVD is 10,400 feet and there is a brine in the well bore and the density of that brine is 9.2 ppg. Now the plan is to run bit towards 5100 feet of TVD and 5400 feet of MD. Now if I circulate a lighter fluid that is 8.4 ppg of water then what will happen to hydrostatic pressure at bottom or what will be the hydrostatic pressure at the bottom. So let us understand by drawing a figure so here as you can see my well depth is 10,400 feet. Now there is a brine in the well bore that is 9.2 ppg. If I run my bit till 5100 feet of TVD and 5400 feet of MD and if I circulate a lighter fluid then we need to decide from where the displacement would take place. So will it take place from 5100 feet or from some other depth in the well bore or at the bottom? Yes, it will, the displacement will take place from 5100 feet. So, I have got two different columns of fluid now. Upper column is water and the height of column, now we need to decide which depth we have to take for the calculation. Now, since we are going to calculate hydrostatic pressure, so for all sort of pressures, we should consider TVD. So, we should consider in this case 5100 feet. So, I have got first column of fluid that is water and the depth of uh, height of water is 5100 feet and the second column that is original fluid which was brine 9.2 ppg and the height of that brine is 5300 feet. So, we need to calculate hydrostatic pressure of first column and then hydrostatic pressure of second column and when we add both the columns hydrostatic pressure that is the total pressure acting at the bottom. So let us calculate this way. So hydrostatic pressure formula mud weight times constant times TVD. Now since I am calculating the first column pressure, so mud weight gonna be 8.4 times constant times TVD in this case is I need to calculate till 5100 feet. So TVD will become 5100 feet. Now if I uh, calculate then I get 2227 psi. Second column hydrostatic pressure can be calculated as, as we can see, second column height is 5300 feet. So the formula gonna be 9.2 times constant times 5300 feet. So if I total, then I get 2535 psi. So first column hydrostatic pressure, which was created by 8.4 ppg mud is of 2,227 psi. Second column hydrostatic head created by 9.2 ppg brine is 2,535 psi. So first column plus second column because both the hydrostatic head is falling on bottom. So if I total then I get 4,763 psi. So the total pressure acting downwards because of both the column hydrostatic pressure is 4,763 psi.